welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel and if you watched my um, update video you'll know that there's going to be a real um, shift in what you see on my channel uh, soon because um, I did a bit of shopping in December and I've got a, a collective haul here I've also got a Pat McGrath haul coming up I'm actually waiting for some more stuff coming from Pat McGrath but that's the last thing I only shopped until literally December the 31st and then this year is going to be a no buy so before that I wanted to show you and there's a couple of palettes that I got for Christmas I wanted to show you that as well just in this um, but I wanted to take you through all the beauty items that I decided to purchase in December um, and hopefully that's it no not hopefully that is it I have so much makeup now that I don't need all of it um, and I want to play with it this is the year of playing with all my makeup sorry I've just realized that my glasses are shining the light on you so I apologize right so I did an order oh, let's try and do this in some sort of order um okay so the first thing I bought in December were first things I bought okay yes 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 okay so I really wanted to try a couple of Chanel lipsticks there was a couple of uh, colors that I wanted to choose but I also wanted to try a couple of different formulas so I ordered the Chanel oh bloody hell lip rouge no le rouge duo ultra tenu gloss and the reason i wanted to try this i got it in timeless beige which is a lovely nudie color it is a beige um i wanted to try something that i, have, I don't really hear people ra raving about and it's essentially a liquid lipstick um in this shade here really pretty beigey pinky nude i just wanted something that was my lip color I wanted to try it out because I get married in a couple of years and I want to test out some stuff uh, before I do. So it comes as a liquid lipstick, you put it on your lips, it dries down, not like matte matte, and then it has the gloss at the end. I mean, it just reminds me of those Maybelline ones, which is what I did wear at my last wedding. So, um, but I thought I would try this and I'm loving this. I find this really, really pretty on the lips, really natural great colour if you're looking for if you're pale like me and you're looking for that sort of colour then you will enjoy that okay the other one I bought was the Rouge in number 186 and this is sensible I have it on my lips today and it is this beautiful nudie rose colour um and this is what it's like um this is not the matte version which is why I wanted it it's like a glossy it's, it's practically the same colour as the other one it is the same colour uh, maybe touch pinker so you can see that there beautiful beautiful lipsticks and I've I've enjoyed them I just wanted something so if you watched my YSL lipstick video my collection there's a color that I love that is so similar to this in this sort of glossy formula um I just know I'm going to use this a lot it doesn't have that weird rosy smell which I like because I hate the rose smell that they put on things um, I also ordered a couple of perfumes so I don't talk about perfumes a lot but my favorite scents are peony I love amber I love oud um, I like things that are like um, they've got a lovely I like florals but not too floral I hate jasmine if I see that scent in or en that as a, a scent in anything I really it I've, it just smells like wee to me I, I don't can't get past it um so some of my favorite scents are um I love Stella by Stella McCartney and that's rose it's very rosy but it's just a really nice scent to me it smells lovely on me um I like anything from um that's got peony and mainly I love a peony scent uh, and I do like rose scents as well but it's the amber like I've got amber musk by um Erin which I love um so I ordered two based on just some research because I put in the um notes that I really enjoy and there was a couple of perfumes that came up and I'd never heard of them so I've never heard of the brand Goutel never heard of them Goutel Paris and I bought this one called Rose Pompon P-O-M-P-O-N this is an eau de parfum and it comes in uh this is how many mils is this I feel like it's a hundred 50 mils 50 mils um so it's not massive um not the cheapest perfume but it's 
it's a very cute little bottle um and it's a sort of it does remind me a lot of stella in that it's rose peony that that's definitely there but there's a little bit of a soapiness under there and there's a little bit of amber in there. I can smell the amber as an after as an afterthought. Really pretty. Um, and yeah, it's not something I hear people talking about really. So I really am enjoying that scent. It's a really nice everyday scent. I think it would be good for the sort of springtime. It's definitely lighter than the one I'm about to show you. Um, oh, I can't get this back in now, typically. Every day I've managed to get it back in. There we go. So there we go. That's what it looks like. And the other one I got was this Miller Harris perfume. So it's Miller Harris perfume in London in Scherzo. Scherzo. And it says, you're the only girl I've seen for a while that actually did look like something blooming. And this has, this is so strong. It reminds me of the, um, oh, what's the other one that I like? Um, Evictus for, for Women by Creed. Creed's Juventus. Not Evictus. Creed Juventus. Creed. Why well, can't I remember the name? Creed Juventus. Creed Juventus. <gasps> I forgot the name. Anyway, you know which one I mean. I'll put a little thing on the screen here. Um, so this is the Villa Harris. Oh yeah, it's got that really deep oud smell. That's what you've got in there. Um, but it leaves like, it's 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 sharp at first. You put it on when it sinks into the skin. That oud is there, there's amber and there's peony. So they're my three favorite scents. It's very strong, like it hits you um, almost at the back of the throat. It's almost spicy. So uh, yeah, I love this. I love the packaging for this. Look at that, it's very, very nice really cute um and i love the box it comes in as well so i've been keeping it in the box but uh i don't hear anybody talking about Miller harris actually and i don't know anything about the other um scents that people talk about because i just buy smells that i like i don't know i just do my own research if you're into those sorts of scents Stella mccartney um amber mask anything with amber in oud whatever try this one out because it's really nice staying power isn't as long as the creed one Aventus, Aventus, the Creed one. Um, but it is really beautiful, really, really nice. Okay, so I got that first. Then I am I've been desperate to get hold of. You know me, I want the, the palettes that have gone out of stock and are never returning, although it has just come back in stock on Look Fantastic. So yay, that's great for me. Anyway, however, um I decided I wanted to get the gold palette by Natasha Denona and I got it. Um, I got it second hand. I got it from eBay. Yes, I did. I got it from eBay and all the proceeds were going to charity and it is just gorgeous. She barely used it. This is my use more than uh, the girl who sold it. I bought it for £70 instead of £111. Uh, and I think that's pretty good. She didn't use £30 worth of product, in my opinion. Um, but I didn't mind the money was going to charity. Um, so I now have this palette. You might be thinking, you're a YouTuber, why would you buy old makeup and makeup that you can't find anymore? Well, people did buy this, but there are also colours in here that you might be able to get elsewhere, or it's about creating looks using certain colours, so you might be able to find them in your collection. So why not have it? And I really wanted it, because I do like Natasha Denona's formula, and so many people were going on about how good it was. The next thing I bought was the Glam Palette by Natasha Denona and I just thought it was the most boring looking thing but I used it on Christmas Day I loved the look it is quite cool toned for me um, and I have to admit that cool tone doesn't always work for me but it's also neutral leaning so I can just get there but what I like about this is it's l it's lighter than her others and I actually find her others quite dark um, the formula is of course stunning and so many people were going on about how good the formula was and it is, it's beautiful, as usual. Um, so I'm excited about this one. Uh, I did use it and I am enjoying it. And I'll do some looks for it for you as well. Um, next up, I bought, is it this one next? Yes, I think that's it before I, no, there's one other thing. Okay, um, so I bought the 
Charlotte Tilbury starry eyes to hypnotize starry eyes to hypnotize um, I don't know what one this is but it's really pretty it's a navy blue packet looks like this what I loved about this one is there's actually some color in here so you've got your trios as usual but there's a green trio there's a smoky and a cool tone trio there's a warm trio and there's a gold trio and I actually think this is oh sorry very beautiful um, I'm excited to try this one. I, was, I don't know anybody that's talking about this one. Again, I don't know why I'm picking things up that are old when you guys like new stuff. But I think that there's a space to use the old stuff. Personally, that's what I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be allowed near anything. Okay, um, I picked up some NYX Glitter Primer. Um, I just wanted to try it out because... I've been using the P. Louise base, but I wanted to have a glitter primer specifically because I do have some pressed glitters and uh, I love my shimmery shades. So that's why I got it. Anyway, before I did this order, I got my Christmas presents and I've already filmed a look using one of them. Um, I went with this one first to film a look with. I was so intrigued by it. So this is by Mad Beauty. This is an eyeshadow palette that has 12 shades in and it's the Disney Villains one and it looks like this. Look at that. How cute is that? I need to stop pointing things at that light. It has two duochromes, it has a number of shimmers and satins and then it has this row of neutral. Like That is one look in itself, isn't it? That's like your basic four. Um, love it. I absolutely love this. I think the look is pretty good that I made from this, to be fair. It's all right. I mean, I had a little bit of a mishap, but the quality of your shadows are good for like £12.50. I did a video before and um, I was so shocked by the quality of that palette, actually. Really shocked. I was very happy with it. And the other one that I received as a gift was the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Cap palette. So... I wasn't going to get this. I, I don't own any until recently. I um, purchased the Naughty Nude and it, it was brand new when I received it. Absolutely brand new. Um, and I loved it. And you've seen a look with it, I think. Or have you? I've done a look with it. I don't know if you've seen a look. Anyway, um, I loved that palette so much. I thought the quality was impeccable. And it made me want this even more. And everybody was raving about it. And I just thought, oh, I want to get my hands on it now. So everybody seems so happy with it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a couple of swatches, to be honest. Because everybody was saying how lovely these shadows were. And I just want to see if they're... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, they're not wrong. Look at those. Whoa, hello. Beautiful. Can't wait to play with this. And I will do a look. There's so many that you are going to get looks for years. <laughs> You're never going to have any other palettes that's it now um they're they're gorgeous right that is, those shimmers are just beyond anything i've ever seen Whew. so i did a bit of a shop on cult beauty there was a big sale on i had some money off and there were things that i wanted to try before i went on my no buy so i thought right i'm just gonna bite the bullet and get what I want and then I'm done. The, um, I'll talk about my no buy in another video actually because I want to talk about the rules around it etc etc but I bought some stuff. I know, I know. Anyway, so I bought the By Terry Terribly Denseless Foundation. Everybody was saying this is absolutely brilliant anti-wrinkle serum foundation. Um, they were saying it's the best foundation they've ever used and etc etc. Now I went for the colour Natural Beige and it's the right shade, yay me, I chose the right one. Um, I'm gonna give a review of this and tell you what I think. Really looking forward to reviewing that. It looks like a really nice foundation. Um, I also got, I think I tried to get a full face if I'm honest. I also, I did try and get a full, full face. I picked up the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. This was interesting because it's tiny. I genuinely can't believe how small it is for the price. Look how teeny it is. I was like, is that a travel size? I mean, actually, it says it's 5.8 mils. And I think that the one from Pat McGrath is 5 mils. Huh? But it's so tiny. So I bought this. I wanted to give it a go. Again, good reviews. I wanted something. I find Pat McGrath's one is 
just slightly too heavy so I wanted something that was a bit less heavy does that make sense uh, so yeah I wanted to try that um, I picked up for my sins probably shouldn't have done but I don't care the Natasha Denona uh, the new one the rose cheek duo cream blush and highlight oh it's a cream blush I didn't even notice that why didn't I notice that looks like this I don't want to flush you in the face um, and it is there I think they're gorgeous colors I didn't realize that was a cream blush but now I've got my finger in it I can tell that's so funny that I didn't realize hey that's pretty <gasps> that's nice I like that color oh lovely and then the highlighter is just beyond gorgeous it's such a pretty sheen can you see that there on my knuckle there Oh, I love it. You can probably see it a bit better on my finger. There you go. Um, teeny tiny, but I don't mind. Uh, I'm very excited to try it. I might do a full face with all of this, you see. That's why I bought it. Um, next, I got um, these eye brushes. I didn't need any more eye brushes, but I bought them anyway. Nobody tell anyone. These are the Spectrum Pantherine brush set. It's a six-piece eye brush set. Yeah, probably didn't need that. Got it anyway. Um, <laughs> don't yell at me. Well, the other thing is, is I, I wanted to try this brand. So, you know Halsey? She has a brand called About Face. And I was really interested. I have a bone to pick with Halsey, though. Like, why are they in such big plastic packaging? Like... I don't get that. Why didn't she do that? Just give it, give us it in a box that we can recycle, for goodness sake. Um, why plastic? That just seems so weird. Anyway, so I got the About Face uh, Painted Lip Colour in, and it's a matte lip, yeah, matte painted lip colour in the shade, who are you? Blunder. So it looks like this is a much more, yet yeah, neutral shade. Quite cool toned. Uh, it's a wettish formula. So that's the, the colour. Oh, it's got a very chemically smell. No, it's like a chemical vanilla. It's quite strong, that, quite strong. Um, be wary, that smells quite weird. Uh, and I will tell you more about that. So that's the shade there. And they give you the shade on the actual bottle. I thought this was the lightest nude. But it looks so dark there. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I also got a couple of her brushes. Which have got like a kink in them. Let me open it. Why the plastic? Halsey, why? Why would you do that? Um, oh, these are pretty. There we go. So they look like this. So one's like a... I mean, that's huge. Is that going to be a blending brush? That's absolutely bloody massive. It's huge. That's got to be a... That's got to be for doing um, highlighter. That's massive. And then a sort of flat, uh, tapered eye shadow brush. But they're bent. Can you see? I love that. I think that might be really good for people who have maybe some issues with um, holding things like this. I don't know. Just different. I thought they were interesting. I'm just going to straight in there. Um, and then the other thing which I'm very excited about. This is the Fractal Eye Paint. They had so many colours. I was really excited to try this. I've not heard anybody talk about this at all. I'm half expecting Laura Mae Beauty to find these out. Because I think this will be right up her street. So I'm going to tag her in this video just in case she wants to see that. Um, so this is Apollo Empire. And it's a gold colour. Uh, I did want to go for the rose gold and then I was like no I've already got a rose gold I'm just going to put it here look at it it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous can you see that on my finger look so good packaging's odd to say the least really difficult to get the brush back in as well so you end up wasting some product um, so the product's all in here in this pouch excess pack why why I don't understand the concept she could have made this like this much smaller just it just doesn't make sense 
I don't know, maybe she was just trying to be like, oh, I want to do something different, but I actually don't like that. I think that's a really odd packaging. However, the product itself, I'm just going to see if it will dry down, but it is really shiny. Um, and the other ones look so pretty as well. So, I don't know. Have a look into it. Enjoy yourself. Knock yourself out. Um, then I ordered this Kosas. Kosas? Kosas. Kosas. Airbrow Fluff and Hold Treatment Gel. Uh, I needed a gel. I don't have one. I wanted one. This is clear. <gasps> oh, I love the packaging. I love the... You could teach Holdy a few things. I uh, love this. Love the brush. Oh my God, I love this. I can't open it, but I love it. <gasps> I love it. Look at the brush. It's so little. I love it. That's amazing. Yes, 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 yes. And then the final few things. Is there more? Yeah, there is more. Um, I got the, oh, full size of the Pillow Talk uh, push-up lashes. Brilliant mascara. Absolutely excellent mascara. If you are like me and you have lots of lashes but they're not showing length. Uh, yes, amazing. Love it. And then I ordered something very posh. I got the Christian Louboutin. And the reason I got this is not because it's Louboutin. It's because one, it was an offer. And two, I wanted a brown eyeliner. Um, and I wanted a good brown eyeliner. So, because I, I want to do more winged natural eyeliner. Um, anyway, comes like this. It's very swish. I have not swatched it. So we'll see how, oh yeah. That is exactly what I wanted. Creamy, lovely, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and he gives you a Christian Louboutin uh, pencil sharpener with it. So you can get a pencil sharpener. Bang on. Love that. And the final thing that I ordered, because I was really, and it could be something I order in the future. I was really interested in this. This is the Hindash. Beautopsy print, uh, Press Pigment Palette. Let me show you this. I'm very interested in this. I'm very interested in Hindash. I really wanted the eyeliner, but they'd sold out. It was really sad. Um, and this is, let me just cover that because I don't want that in the picture. This is the palette and it's like so interesting to me. I really want to try it out as a eyeshadow palette. I also want to try it out as a cheek palette, as a contour palette. I want to try it all out so I, I sort of want to do just one look so we'll see we'll see the whole thing let me know what you want to see and I will give that to you oh it feels so luxury uh, contents made in Italy a hundred percent vegan nice love that um, oh, and sorry there are a couple more things uh, just a couple of samples I've got the fresh floral recovery calming mask Sounds lovely. And the Summer, Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. Oh, I got two masks. I love that. Fine. Whew. So that's me done. That's a very long video. I do apologise. Uh, but I wanted to show you these things because it was getting a little bit more on top of me. And it's the last one. I will um, be uploading about the no-buy very shortly. You'll see that in the next couple of days. We'll have a chat about it. If you are doing a no-buy or a low-buy, please join me because I need all the support I can. Uh, that's it, that's done. I love that. Um, I want to talk about why I'm doing it and how and the rules and all of that in that video. But this was the last haul I'm doing apart from the essentials you'll find out more about that soon so if there's anything that you have picked up and you love it let me know if you hate some of the things i've picked up if you didn't even know that this existed oh okay that's still quite tacky but yeah it's not bad look oh, it's so pretty i love it um if there's anything that you want to know more about do comment down below give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it as usual or if you don't like it and you've got this far give it a thumbs down obviously you are more than welcome to do that if you want to subscribe please do i would absolutely love it if you did but you don't have to and i will see you in the next video bye guys